once again, we're just showing how these old competitive maps are actually designed to be competitive, where defense is always in an advantage compared to offense. Offense is usually in a disadvantage. And we can see that here, where if offense wins the break off, or sorry, if defense, blue team wins the break off, they're gonna be able to spawn trap these enemies and only have to predict three spots, three routes that these enemies can hit. Now, vice versa to that, let's say this team over here, they did have full control. So let's say offense team had full control. You would have a player in time having to worry about this big um, like middle lane right here. You could definitely have a player sitting over here on this head glitch, holding down this entire lane. Um, and then of course this player over here might just be playing back, holding this head glitch right here, or he might actually want to try to push up and play the stairs head glitch. Yeah, I would say that's way better. You'd sit right here and play the stairs head glitch. And then the last player, of course, you would always want to have two teammates in time, ideally. Um, that creates a very decent uh, line setup right here. So that's the line. Uh, but let's talk about the team on defense. Because this team on defense, once again, they're on defense because they have the better spawns. And here's why they have the better spawns. So they can fight this guy over here on this staircase by pushing out of this door and pushing up over here. They could play for a clean cut right here and they can double up that alleyway right there. Um, I don't think you can go inside this building, so you just have to play right here. You can also pinch from this side. And then same thing over here. If you guys are trying to work up this side, you can fight from this half wall or you can go all the way wide and fight from there. So once again, the team on offense they only have three routes they can go, but the team on defense, they have one, two, three, four, about five different routes that they can hit just off of spawn. Let's talk about P2, where once this team is spawning up over here at P2, they can just literally sit on this head glitch, sit on this head glitch. You can have an anchor just sitting all the way back here, holding down this entire cut. And uh, you could also have like a third player probably just playing right here, actually, so. I would say this player right here is mostly just like sitting in the back, watching this, watching this. And then you would have like a third player just going back and forth to hold this middle cut and hold right here. So basically this player right here would just be holding middle. This player would be anchoring. And if this player says, yo, I have two fighting me, this guy would come help him. If he doesn't need help, or if these guys were like, yo, three are hitting me front, this guy can easily come right here. Uh, so once again, just showing that defense is in a very good advantage on this map, um, while offense, offense does have a better um, <clears throat> opportunity to like break through this though, because they can hit a route right here, they can hit a route up here, they can also hit this route, they can hit a route like this, and they of course can challenge out like this. So offense team, they're still like in a decent spot to break, but it still goes to show that this map is very good uh, when it comes to playing competitive, especially when you flip over to map three, right? So once again, we talk about defense team, they're going to win P1 and get a very good spawn trap. They're going to win P2. They're probably gonna go up 100 points. And if the team on offense just starts spawning out and now they get a rotation at P3, this is where the tide changes, right? So for P3, uh, obviously we'd want these enemies to like be spawning over here and here. So we would have a player on this head glitch soaking up time, player on this head glitch soaking up time and cutting middle. And then this is where we can have a player just anchoring and just holding this entire cut on our flank. And then uh, our fourth player, once again, can just like sit right here and go back and forth between whoever needs help, right? So he can help over here and then he can also come and help over here. And uh, <clears throat> once again, now this team is on defense they just have to worry about these few angles to worry about and when they do win those gunfights they have an easy rotation over here where this player can cut this entire lane we can have this player cut this entire lane right here and then everyone else you know they would die and so on and one player would stay right here holding this and then we'd have a player on time eventually uh so it just goes to show that these maps are designed to just make the game as fair as possible because the team on offense now they're tying up the game to be 100-100 from uh, three and four. And now we switch over to P5, where once again, the team on defense, the team that had good spawns, if they keep spawning over here, they're able to just rotate over here 
get into an easy setup so you have a player like right here holding across player soaking up time player up here and then you'd obviously have a player playing a flank or something like that and once again this is the fifth hill they would go up maybe 40 points and that goes to prove why defense is always in the advantage because defense from hills one through five they will more than likely end up being 140 to 100 and the reason why this enemy team gets 100 points is because if they're not able to break p1 or p2 they would then be able to soak up p3 and p4 but hey once again because the enemy team has good spawns that's why they get p5 and that's why <clears throat> they go up 40 points so that was just a really important to just kind of show why these maps are balanced and how we're going to see Call of Duty just change. Competitive is going to change where we're going to have teams understanding these maps, understanding how to actually hold the setup and uh, just start dominating. Uh, so this is where we're going to probably see like, you know, a three man team or sorry we're gonna probably see like three different teams uh, just being in the top three always because uh, they know how to play the map this way. JP Krez, he is the optic coach uh, for Optic Texas, and uh, please feel free to follow him at Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at JP Krez. Go down the stairs, and they can run up this staircase right here. So normally, this uh, number one team has to have like um, a player like playing back here and anchoring and watching that push. Um, not only that, but these players can also hit up this lane right here. Uh, so it for sure looks like right now uh these spawners are in the advantage uh and this team over here are in the bad spawns so we can obviously clearly see that this team over here uh fighting for p1 they're going to be in a huge disadvantage because they have a fatal funnel right this this is the one fatal funnel that they have so if the enemy team gets control of p1 this team is stuck going through this one spot and their only rotation is actually a wide rotation um, which once they get towards the middle, um, unfortunately, once again, you're going to have the enemies once again, holding down this entire lane. Uh, but once these, uh, enemies get middle, this is going to allow them to ideally try to like go under and flip spawns. And they can also obviously go out all the way over here like this. Uh, so already we can see how like this is a good map in terms of balance for the team on defense compared to the team on offense uh but let's actually look at p3 now right because we can clearly see how the team that's spawning over here is 100 percent in the advantage uh but let's talk about p3 so like let's say let's say that this team right here they lost p1 time and they lost p2 time and they keep spawning at bad spawns let's see how like their setup for p3 would be I know that you would have a player sitting all the way back here uh, using a god heady uh, just to hold down this entire middle lane and watching this push through this heady this head glitch right here is just really freaking good um, obviously we'd have probably a player on time just going back and forth between these two corners um, we'll probably have a player maybe you could have a player stand up on one of these to look over as well uh, but I really don't know where else you would get shot from it just looks like you have a player in hill this player anchors this player is looking over the player in hill and then you can probably have like a fourth player just like running around middle map and just spawn trapping or getting kills um obviously this fourth player when he's out spawn trapping uh when we get down to 30 seconds he's going to want to make sure he holds control over towards this side so uh he gives his team an easy rotation where once he rotates he can literally hold down this entire corridor and then these guys uh, just push up and then we have one player in time this player is holding corridor for p4 and then we can for sure probably just have one of our old teammates on time uh holding our entire flank and then probably have a second player right here holding our middle and we actually have a beautiful line right there huh all right yeah no i like this map this map seems very balanced uh because <clears throat> Defense for P1, P2 with these spawns right here, that sets you up to find a lot of success and get at least maybe 100 points, if not more. Um, and then P3, if you do lose those 100 points, you do have a very good P3 hold to get you back to like a 60 uh, to 100 point deficit. Uh, so actually, sorry, a 40 point deficit. Um, and when we push out and we start rotating, this rotation right here 
might be much easier for us than the enemy team because we could probably have our sub player pushing out holding down this entire section and because of that this spawns the enemies all the way out over here once again giving us a good setup for p4 tying up the game 100 100. now obviously as you guys can see if this team they only got p1 and p2 they're at 100 points but if they lose p3 p4 now it's tied by 100 points but if they keep spawning over here they have a way easier rotation to play for p5 and this is where once again they can probably go up maybe 40 points right here uh so 140 to 100 and it definitely just goes to prove that the team that starts with defense is almost always in the advantage but for sure you can always control the game uh as precise as you want it or as advanced as you want it.